That's how you bounce back. We are one winner away from a Thursday sweep. That was a good day. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Jason Manis, of course, with Winning Bets, giving you guys free sports picks. And it's Christmas Eve, so Merry Christmas Eve to everybody out there in the entire Winning Bets community. Should be feeling good this time of year and should be feeling really good as we come off a good day. Yes, sir, we are one winner away from getting a sweep. Otherwise, it was absolutely fantastic. You guys remember the action started off in the afternoon, gave you guys a degenerate play. That's right. I'm always honest with you guys. You guys know everything I do is research-based, uh, based on stats and trends, but whenever there's not, I'm always honest. I'm like, this is a gut play. This is the degenerate play. That's exactly what that was yesterday when I sent out that tweet. We went into the Dutch League up in the soccer, up in the Netherlands, and there was a game going on, PSV. We kind of know PSV. They're in the Europa League every single season i don't really know that game i don't really know that league but all i know is i didn't have any action until the nighttime and i do not like that feeling i'm so accustomed to checking my phone what's the score what's the score how many points is it the over the under sweating i just love that feeling i couldn't go all the way until nighttime without having any action so we did an anytime goal score we just took the number nine that was on that team he had the second favorite odds to score a goal he was at plus money the number nine yeah went ahead and bet on that guy to go ahead and get a goal and he got the second goal in psb's 2-1 win so a nice win right there to start off our day and then we carry that action on into the nighttime where we had nfl good good game actually good game i told you guys that was gonna be a good game there between those 49ers and titans 49ers jumping out to the nice size lead there titans battling back fantastic game Game. but in that game Jeff Wilson stayed up under 67.5 yards I know that was a sweat a couple of you guys hit me up on Twitter saying you guys couldn't join me on that it's unfortunate because that one got a cash well you know they're gonna get some runs and they look kind of explosive that front seven for that Titans defense is really good and you just don't run on them and as evidence he stayed up under that and get only getting 45 rushing yards on the night right there. So just fantastic work right there. We also hit one of our three anytime touchdowns course. That was generally the goal. I mean, yeah, we want to hit all three, but that's not realistic. But we wanted to hit one out of three to turn a profit. So that makes those three bets, even though they're three bets, because they won unit, I call that a win. I don't call that two losses. To me, that's a win based on how we bet it with you know each one being a third of a unit. And it was Brandon Ayuk that was the one that went ahead and come through right there, catching the end zone late in that fourth quarter in the back of the end zone. Nice pass, nice catch, and he comes through for us right there. And then over in basketball, we did three, kind of four over-unders. I went back in for another one because the public did us a favor. What ended up, didn't end up being a favor because it was a loser. What that loser was was Pistons Heat under 52.5. When it went to 53.5, I went back in for another unit. That one went up over that, but we did get two over overs to cash we got two of the overs and uh, wolves jazz over 57.5 points easy easy winner right there and our two unit play we cashed our two unit play we did really really good with these two unit plays we've only missed two one we've only missed one two unit play last night's two unit winner was in that grizzlies versus warriors against over 52.5 i was ready to bet that at 57.5 that's how much i like that bet but when it opened at 52.5 Easy, easy no-brainer right there to go ahead and put two units on that. So a good day right there at plus 2.64 units. And now up on the week at plus 3.03 units up on the week. That is what I'm talking about, guys. Hit that like button. Let me know you were part of this cash. If you cash Jeff Wilson, if you cash those basketball bets, or if you cash that just generate play, hit that like button and let me know you were part of yesterday's cash. All right, before I go ahead and give you guys our bets, we're on our last day of the free giveaway where I've been giving two people every single day $25 each. It's my way of saying thanks for being part of such a great community, whether you're chiming in on the comments, whether you're just watching the video silently. I appreciate you guys being a part of the community here of Winning Bets and talking sports and putting money up in your pocket every single day. So with that being said, let's go ahead and hook up two more people at $25. All right, so here's the random number generator. Let's go ahead and get the last two names out of here. We've got a 14, have we called? We've called 14. Have we called 12? We've called 12. Oh, this could take a while. Have we called 10? Well, we've called 10. Have we called two? We, we've called two. We called 19? Wow, whoa, this is going to take a while. Three? All right, three we haven't called. So there's one winner. And 31. Ah, oh, we called 31. 12? We called... 16. Oh, there you go. We haven't called those two. So three. Three is Ross P. Ross P. Come on down and hit me up. And 16 was Jimmy T. Jimmy T. So Ross P. and Jimmy T. You guys are the last two winners 
of the $25 giveaway. Hit me up on Twitter, drop me your PayPal information, and I'll send each of you $25. And for everybody else, thanks for being a part of such a great giveaway, but more importantly, being part of such a great community. Again, as we just talk sports and put money up in our pocket every single day. And the next free giveaway will be, bounced, will be announced early in 2021. We'll kick off the new year with another free giveaway. All right, before we get on into today's picks, let me tell you guys next week, not gonna put on any show. We don't have any childcare. Son's gonna be home from school and I'm gonna be here with two kids alone and I'm just gonna be unable to put together a show in the morning time. And quite frankly, when the kids go down for the nap, after having got my ass kicked for the past several hours, I'm just gonna wanna take a little break and just relax and do whatever the heck I wanna do and just kinda get some downtime while the kids are napping. So we won't put on a show at all next week. We'll sit back, we'll enjoy the holiday season up in between Christmas and New Year and everything that goes along with that. So we'll take a week off. But I will be posting pics and I will be, of course, making bets. You can on the YouTube, go to the community tab and that's where I post messages. So it's my channel, community tab, and this is where I post messages. If, every day I make bets, I will post them on here. So you can always come and look for my bets there. And of course, you can always look for them on Twitter. They're at winning bets pod. It's at winning bets. It's pod. Guys, a tough, tough day for sports betting today. No sports today. You got no NBA today. We got no NFL today. We got no college basketball. We got no college football. We got no NHL. Hell, I even looked at tennis. There's no tennis going on. There is nothing going on. So the bets I give you today will obviously not involve today's action. So with that, let's go ahead and first start with the Premier League. Let me guys give you guys your Boxing Day winners. Talked about all these bets on yesterday's episode of Between the Post there with Matt. We love this card. It's already, one bet's already gotten ruined though due to COVID issues. Hopefully more of these games don't get postponed. You guys remember we went 2-0 last week in the Premier League. We tried to get in six bets, but COVID struck us again, but at least the two that we did get in, we got two good caches. I'm expecting a similar result this weekend because I really like this card. So let's go ahead and put up the bets. We're going to go ahead and be on Manchester City team total over 2.5 at minus 112 over at Fandle. Arsenal on that clean sheet at plus 108 over at Fandle. Take Aston Villa on that double chance going up against Chelsea at plus 125 over at DraftKings. Tottenham on their team total up over 1.5 goals at minus 120 over at DraftKings. And then a parlay for you guys. Manchester team total over 1.5. That Burnley double chance, though, that's been postponed. So I obviously wouldn't recommend making this play alone because the United team total is well up in the 200. So maybe try and find something else. If you're looking for a parlay piece, there's your Manchester United team total up over 1.5 uh, 1 is your parlay piece. Um, unfortunately, I'm stuck with the you know, minus 200 some odd leg as that Burnley double chance again was postponed. So, so there we have it right there. That'll be our Premier League Boxing Day plays. Maybe we'll add something to it once we get lineups like I mentioned on Between the Post. It's a tricky time. Obviously betting during COVID and all these you know players sitting out, all these games being canceled. But once we see lineups, yeah, we'll go ahead and maybe add to it. So just make sure you follow me on Twitter. It's at Winning Bets Pod. It's at Winning Bets Pod. All right, let's go ahead and get an NFL parlay. I don't feel comfortable doing a lot of NFL bets this far out from the games because of COVID-related issues and guys could be dropping from these lineups and dropping from these rosters and not being part of the games. So I don't feel comfortable doing a lot of NFL uh, player props, but I do feel comfortable doing this one three-legged money line parlay. So let's go ahead and do this three-legged money line parlay that comes in at minus 101 over at points bet. I like the Packers to beat the Browns on Saturday on Christmas Day. They'll give us a nice Packers win to kick off this parlay. Then we'll go ahead and do the Buccaneers over the Panthers. Saw firsthand experience of how bad that Panthers team is as they went up against my Buffalo Bills and Cam Newton. They shouldn't be in the league next season. He's a really bad quarterback. I think the Bucs will obviously bounce back and get past the Panthers relatively easy. Then the third and final team to round it out will be the Chargers going up against the Texans. How can you not like the Chargers going up against the Texans? So that would be my three-legged parlay. Take the Packers, take the Buccaneers, and take the Chargers in a three-legged money line parlay at minus 101 up over a points bet. All right, so just to remind you guys, any plays for the rest of this weekend or the entirety of next week will be posted on the community tab there on YouTube, but also on, obviously, Twitter. We'll go ahead and tweet every single play that we do on Twitter. Guys, we can't leave, we can't let this show in without doing a holiday toast. We got to do a holiday toast and wish everybody a happy holidays and a Merry Christmas. And again, thank you guys for being part of the Winning Bets community. And if you're wondering what this is, this is, of course, booze. If you've been around here long enough, you've seen me take several tequila shots well before 8 a.m. This falls right in line with that. This is basically... Well, this is not basically. This is two shots of whiskey 
and just enough eggnog to change the color and make it, you know, give me yourself a little chaser so I'm not taking two shots of whiskey before, what is it, before 8 a.m. So just enough eggnog here to change the color right there. Mmm, smells good. Love a good eggnog in the morning. Mmm. All right, guys. Cheers to the Winning Best community. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, sincerely for being part of the journey every single day, talking sports, putting money up in your pocket. I hope everybody has a fantastic holiday season. Be it with your friends, be it with your family. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas and cheers to the Winning Bets community. Let's cash these bets. Ooh, hard to take it all at one time with all that eggnog. Happy holidays. Thanks for watching till the end. I'm Jason Mattis. Any love you can show by giving me a like, a subscription, or a comment, or even just share this video is very much appreciated. And don't forget to turn on your notifications to increase your chances of locking in the same odds as I talked about today. And check out my other great videos in these corners.